Sound Shooter 4545, stereo microphone, 2010 version, WM61A equipped. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Sound Shooter video. Right here we see the microphone head part with windscreen. Okay, we've got the bottom half of the chassis. I'm not going to show the Panasonic mic elements just yet. If I have time, I will show them at the end of the video. Okay, here we have the circuit board, obviously. Built on perf board, so this is a bit of perf board piracy here. Okay. Video's not real good. We'll go through here. Let's see what I want to do. Okay, we'll go through it. At the front end we have, we have a pair of 2.2K resistors that supplies the DC operating bias for the microphone capsules. Okay, right here we have the diodes. These are forward biased, three uh, 1N 914 diodes used to establish a voltage of approximately 2 volts for microphone power. Okay, after going through the 2.2K resistor, at the actual point of the microphone, wire we have about 0.95 volt that's all it takes to run the electric mic first stage an LM 833 one half of it used for the right channel one half used for the left channel likewise we have second IC another LM 833 and the third IC is an LM 364 no 368 and it's used as the ALC amplifier. Go through and, and uh, give a little more uh, background on the function. First IC is a variable gain amplifier. I'm using a pair of transistors as DC controlled variable resistors in the feedback loop and that gives us a, a gain of unity or one equal in out to a hundred. That allows me to adjust the sensitivity for different types of operation because I'm going to try to get this thing to do everything from a human voice at 30 feet to to uh, a good good loud volume, say church service or even a quiet rock concert. Yeah, quiet rock concert, that's a good one. Okay, the second IC is of course the other LM833. It's set up as a, as a gain of 10 and ahead of it, they don't show very well on the video, we have another pair of transistors used as a DC volume control, but this is automatic, so the capacitor here is a 1.5 microfarad poly poly cap, and it it uh, smooths and filters the ALC voltage, and it comes here, and uh, out of the LM 360, that's awful, 386. Out of the LM 386 we have a good amount of current available through the capacitor 330 microfarads now one thing that caused me to really stumble because it took three weeks to design this circuit and to do the experiments and get it to work was the fact that just a few microamps of leakage through this capacitor was appearing over here on the ALC and the ALC was failing to go down to zero when the audio uh, ambient audio level was low so what I had to do was I had to take a 100 ohm resistor and go from the low side of the output coupling cap to ground and that bleeds off the leakage so that was a major problem then about since I'm 55 years old and can hardly see anyway <coughs> excuse me had about a dozen construction errors and uh, of course on the bottom of a perf board it's horrible everything's real close together and hard to see uh, let's see we have a pot here this adjust the input level to the ALC amp and therefore adjust the regulating point or the output level of the unit and this is the, is the sensitivity control for the LED on the back panel let's see if I can be brave and get a shot of this peak indicator working okay let's see this okay I think I can get it yeah we can get it now we turn off the bench lights one two three four one two three four there's the peak indicator and uh, to have a manual gain control on the back and that of course adjusts the first amplifier gain anywhere from unity to a hundred times voltage gain that allows me to set the gain just high enough to take the peaks into the ALC range and yet not overload the unit 
The unit turned out to be pretty resistant to overload anyway. So I got a delightfully good sound quality. The Panasonic WM61A mic cartridges or mic capsules are actually measurement grade. They're typically plus or minus 3 dB from 20 hertz to over 20 kilohertz. And uh, the gain uniformity between units is about 3 dB. Of course, I would have to get the one that was 3 dB high and put it in the left channel. But after experimenting with a total of eight units, I found that just about all of them were the same gain, and the one I put on the left channel was 3 dB high. So other than that, I, and the construction difficulties, a little bit of leakage from that capacitor, it went pretty well. Eventually I document it so I can build more and maybe even show others how to build it. it. Sounds beautiful though, I love it. And it's actually in operation right now, this is it. So let's demonstrate here. Let's see, I think, I'll get my directions mixed up, you just have to hear it in the speakers. This is one channel, and that's the other channel, and the mic elements are very close together. It got the name 4545 because the mics are at 45 degrees. About to run out of time. Thank you for watching. God bless y'all. It was fun. Bye.